There is a sense of, in our community, I, re I remember having people come to me and if I had interviewed the president, they'd say, oh, that's great, but then we'd look at our numbers. But if I had interviewed Whitney or Oprah, the numbers were much, much bigger. There's a school of thought that says, oh, we're not diversifying our imagery enough in our community yet. There are certain images, whether they be in plays or movies or music, that we flock to, whether we like to admit it or not. I'm wondering, is that just a black middle class saying, oh, no, that's not what we want, but the lot of us wanting it? Well, I mean, this is a, you know, a complex subject because each artist should be allowed to pursue the artistic endeavor. But I still think there are a lot of stuff that's on today is coonery and buffoonery. And I know it's making a lot of money, <laughs> breaking records, but we could do better. Uh, that's just my opinion. I mean, I, I'm a huge basketball fan, and when I watch the games on TNT, I see these, these two ads for these two shows, and I'm, I'm scratching my head. You know, this is, nine, this is we got a black president. You know, are we, are we going back to Mantan Moreland and sleep and eat? Yet, if those films, and I mean, we're, we're talking about Tyler Perry at this point. <laughs> no, no, I mean, look. I, I, I'm not saying we're talking, let's, let's, not, let's not give them fodder for tabloid. I'm not saying we're talking about Tyler Perry, but those are the shows that we're talking about. If we're talking about that, and we look at the numbers that come and see his movies, that view the shows on T TBS, my question is, is that in fact, maybe, what black America wants to see? A large well, part. Look, I hear a lot of no's and no's, a lot of people watching it. Here's the thing, though. No. Because we, I mean, we've had this discussion back and forth because uh, when John Singleton, you know, people came out to see Boys in the Hood, and they did a Rosewood, nobody showed up. So a lot of this is on us. A lot of this is on us. You know, we. You vote with your pocketbook, your wallet. You vote with uh, your time sitting in front of the, the idiot box. And the man has a huge audience. And he's, Tyler's very smart. We know what he's done. He started out, you know, with these plays. And church buses would pull up, <laughs> packed. And he's parlayed it into a... You know, bought his own jet. You know, you can buy a jet, you got money. <laughs> but at the same time, for me, just imagery is, is, is troubling. Is there a disappointment from you as a director and an African American that uh, Miracle at St. Anna won't get the same audience as some of the other movies that you will make? And, and therefore, the idea of what we support. Well, here's the thing. I mean, DVD is the director's best friend. So a lot of people have come up to me and said they liked the film a lot, but for whatever reason, they didn't get to see it in the theater, but they definitely got the bootleg or, <laughs> or watched on television, pay-per-view. And even if nobody showed up, I wanted to make that film because Hollywood historically has omitted the contribution of 1.1 African American men and women who fought and died for this country in World War II. And I just got tired of seeing these films again and again and again, which does not give any love to us. The first person to die for this country was a black man, Crispus Attucks. We're not taught, I mean, we've been, if, we're more patriotic than anybody. So when I say something, but the media, when I say the media something, you that I way. never ever say, this is Spike Lee, 
speaking, how, speaking right. on behalf of 45, 45 million Negroes. Right. 